Welcome to the CA Performance Management version 3.5 video CA Performance Management Alarms View. CA Performance Management 3.5 introduces a feature which allows you to view and manage CA Spectrum alarms from CA Performance Center, the Alarms View. This video examines the Alarms View and how it can help you quickly focus on the most impactful problems in your monitored environment. In CA Spectrum, the viewing of alarms in one click is central to most operational workflows. One-click alarm views enable you to identify the most impactful problems by presenting a prioritized list of alarms and facilitates troubleshooting by correlating related alarms on the same device or neighboring devices. The new alarms view, introduced in CA Performance Management 3.5, enables a user to view the same prioritized list of alarms in CA Performance Center, eliminating the need to jump between multiple tools. This advancement in product integration represents an important step towards a unified, multi-product approach to network operations management. Let's look at the alarm view in more detail. If CA Spectrum is configured as a data source, a new alarms menu will be available for adding to a roles menu set. This menu has an entry to launch the Alarm Console dashboard whose factory configuration contains just the alarms view. To minimize the operator learning curve between the products, the layout of the new alarms view was purposely chosen to have the same look and feel of CA Spectrum's alarm view. The upper panel of the view contains a table of alarms pulled from CA Spectrum via its RESTful Web Services interface. This table has many columns matching CA Spectrum's alarm view and a number of hidden by default columns available for additional alarm detail. Note that these alarms will also contain CA performance management alarms such as threshold violations if the integration between the two products is configured to forward events to CA Spectrum. The standard dashboard sharing capabilities of printing in both on-demand and scheduled emailing are fully supported on the Alarm Console dashboard. Now let's look at filtering and view layout. Filtering in the alarms table can be done through the usual dashboard scoping mechanisms of time range selection and group context. In addition, a standard table search can be used to filter the alarm list and a dedicated field is also available to filter by alarm severity. Selecting an alarm within the table drives the contents of the three sub-panels below it. The Alarm Details panel contains a description of the alarm, symptoms, probable causes, and recommended actions. The Center Impact panel lists any symptomatic alarms associated with the selected root cause alarm as well as suppressed management lost alarms from downstream devices. Finally, the Neighbor Typology panel depicts the immediate neighbors of the alarm device. This panel also features hoverovers to display additional information for each device. Next, let's take a look at alarm modification and triage actions. The alarms view is not limited to listing alarm and device information. It is fully actionable like the alarm view in CA Spectrum and has the ability to perform two categories of operation, alarm modification and alarm triaging. These two operational categories require the Allow Alarm Modification Actions Roll Right and the Allow Alarm Triage Actions Roll Right, respectively. Alarm modification includes acknowledging, as seen here, unacknowledging, clearing, and assigning a troubleshooter to alarms, while alarm triaging includes poll, ping, and trace route. Creating a trouble ticket is enabled with either roll right. Once a trouble ticket is assigned, a direct contextual launch into an integrated instance of CA Service Desk Manager is enabled. Now let's take a look at hyperlinks and context pages. Both the alarm table and the neighbor typology panel support hyperlinks. A hyperlink will be available when the corresponding device has been discovered in CA Performance Management. By selecting one of these hyperlinks, you can see here that the resultant context page will contain a new alarms section, which is also comprised of the new alarms view, but as you would expect, scoped to only those alarms existing on the item. This new alarms section is available on the context pages for routers, switches, servers, devices, and interfaces. Finally, let's look at the alarms view in custom dashboards. The Alarms view is like any other view in its ability to be incorporated into a custom dashboard using the Dashboard Builder. 
In the Builder, a new view category called Alarms and Events has been created, which groups together the new Alarms view with the two existing event-based views. Here we've used the drag and drop functionality of the Dashboard Builder to create a custom dashboard containing both an alarm and event view. For more detailed information about the Alarms view or other 3.5 features, click the Information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to the product documentation, visit the CA communities, or see the learning path.